I, uh, Chris Bishop. I move that the question be now put. I'm going to hear Kelvin Davis all here. Yeah, everything Phil, Sof Phil Goff said and more. What a fantastic speech from, from the member, and I, I wish uh, everyone else could be as eloquent as that and explain things so clearly. But look, I really do want to take uh, the, uh, Todd Barclay, the member from somewhere down south from here, to task for his comment about Billy Weapu. Uh, obviously, the member has, uh, knows nothing about uh, those people who are incarcerated in prison. He's uh, so out of touch with this whole issue. He's making out like Billy Webb, who must be the biggest person in New Zealand and the only person capable of cutting through a bracelet with a pair of scissors. Well, if he had actually, if he actually knew a bit about corrections and actually went and visited uh, prisons, he'd see that there's any number of people who are bigger than uh, Billy Webb, and just as capable of cutting through uh, a bracelet with a pair of scissors or a pair of nail uh, clippers like Phil Goff said. Uh, oh, just last week I went into uh, Woody Prison uh, to talk to a guy. I tell you what, he was a man mountain. He was a man mountain. And Todd Barclay is saying that that guy may never ever get out uh, and have to have a, a bracelet on his leg and he wouldn't be able to cut through it. You know, it's just ridiculous. 15,000, 15 and a half thousand people, as Phil Goff has said, have, uh, have breached their electronic monitoring conditions, I can bet you that a fair percentage of those people were just as big and just as powerful as, as Billy Wepu. I mean, he may be the centre in the parliamentary rugby team and not, not all of our backs in the team are as that, built as uh, big and as strong and as powerful as uh, Billy Wepu. But uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, Billy Wepu is, is just like any other New Zealand. Any, Anyone who, is, uh, who has got a bracelet on has got the potential to cut through it or have family and friends and associates who are equally able to cut through these, uh, these electronic monitoring bracelets. As, as was mentioned, the minister turned up in our select committee and she said these new bracelets are going to be made, they're, they're the greatest things ever, you'll never be able to, to uh, cut through them. Uh, and an offender has a choice, either leg or no leg. And, Within hours, the minister was just made to look like a total fool, and that snip, snip, snip of Billy Wepu's scissors was the snipping of the minister's credibility. As Penny Henare has said, three and a half thousand dollars per offender these uh, bracelets cost. Forty-seven people um, at any given time on um, uh, who, who have breached their conditions. That's uh, forty-seven times three and a half thousand. Um, I, I was the maths teacher, Penny was a student, I'd expect him to have the answer of what 47 times 3,500 is. But that's a lot of money that has been invested in just going down the Googler, Mr. Uh, Speaker. Uh, I'd also like to turn to uh, oh, it's clause, part two, clause 10, on, um, and it talks about the annual report of the Department of Corrections. They are going to have to include in their annual report um, the following information about the use of electronic monitoring in the year being reported on. One is the number of offenders who are at any time subject to an electronic monitoring condition, the average number of offenders who are subject to an electronic monitoring condition and the average duration of the condition, the, and the percentage of offenders who, while subject to an electronic monitoring condition were uh, convicted for failing to comply with the condition or con convicted of any other offence. I'd also like to know just exactly how much this is all costing us, Mr Chair. Uh, if we have got 15,500 people already who have, um, who have uh, breached the conditions of the electronic monitoring, that is a lot of money that's going down the gurgler. And it's really, really important that we do, that the communities, that our, our country can have faith in the, uh, in the bracelets, in the technology, in the materials that these electronic bracelets uh, are made up of. It's also a concern to hear, Mr Chair, that as William, uh, Sua William Seor said, that today a sex offender who has a conviction for raping a 13-year-old girl who is meant to have 
surveillance and an electronic monitoring bracelet was allegedly seen at a supermarket. Thank you, Mr. I call Wapini Hanari. Oh.